Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 731, my calendar 2. So before we look into the problem uh, description and some examples and solution, I just want to mention that my channel is focused on helping people who are preparing for coding interviews and Java interviews. On my channel, there are more than 200 solved examples which were uh, coding interview questions uh, previously asked by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, Yahoo and many other companies and those handpicked problems were chosen to cover the important varieties such as dynamic programming, linked list, strings, graph related interview questions, binary search trees, binary trees, binary search related coding interview questions as well as DFS, BFS matrix related questions and optimization problems. So if you are preparing for coding interviews or Java interviews or simply want to learn different Java concepts and how to apply those concepts to solve real life problems, then this channel can definitely be helpful to you. So please subscribe to this channel. So let's take a look into the problem statement now. You are implementing a program to use your calendar. We can add a new event if adding the event will not cause a triple booking. So triple booking happens when three events have some non-empty intersection that is some moment is common to all the three events. The event can be represented as a pair of integers start and end that represents a booking on the half open interval start end. The range of real numbers x such that start is less than equal to x is less than end implement my calendar to class so they have given us a constructor of my calendar to and we have to implement the book method which which takes two arguments start and end and we can return a true if the event can be added to the calendar successfully without causing a triple booking otherwise return false and do not add the event to the calendar so triple booking means there will be three bookings that has some common intersection right so if if that is happening then we will not add that event into the calendar right that's what the book method says so they have given us this uh, one example and the constraints is like zero is start less than equal to start is less than end is less than equal to 10 raised to 9 uh, and at most 1000 calls will be made to the book method <coughs> So this is the constraints and this example, one example is given to us uh, about like uh, uh, this my calendar to class. So let's take this example over here. So I just uh, took this same example, but I just uh, created a timeline, uh, uh, you know, of events, right? So we can understand what the problem is and of the calendar, right? And then how we can solve that problem. So let's first understand the problem and then we will discuss uh, about how we can solve that problem. So, uh, so I just took these all these events, right? So for, for example, let's go one by one these events that's given to us. And uh, we have to always check first if that event addition will cause any triple booking, right? So if uh, this triple booking and if it is causing any triple booking we will not add that event into the calendar otherwise we will add that event into the calendar uh, and return true right so uh, 10 to 20 so i just took this 10 this is 10 to 20 right so this is the event one so as you can see we will start with this event so we can add this event into the calendar without any triple booking so we will return true right because there were no big uh, bookings before so now, uh, so we have already seen 10, 20. Now we will see 50, 60, right? So 50, 60 is this booking, right? This is the number two event. Now, as you can see, one and two are separate, right? There is no kind of intersection. So we can successfully add that into our calendar. So we will return true. Uh, the next one is 10 to 40. So 10 to 40 is number three event. So number three events is this one, right? So as you can see, there is an intersection between one and three but it's not like total three bookings, right? The intersection is only happening with two bookings. So which means that we can return true and we can uh, book that event, right? 
so after that the 550 event 515 event will come right so 515 event is number 4 so this is the number 4th event which is 515 right 5 to 15 as you can see so if i draw a line here now uh, that will cross 1 3 and 4 right like this for example if i draw a line that is ca causing 1 3 and 4 intersection basically right so which means that this booking will cause a triple booking so we will not be able to make this booking so we have to return false here right and we will not add that into our calendar basically so uh, this is the false for this booking now after that we will check with 510 right if we uh, have 510 this is the number 5 booking right 510 as you can see here so if we take 510 and if we draw a line it's not like actually intersecting right because uh, it is just like going through the corner but there is no intersection as such of three bookings basically right so in this case we have to because as you can see 4 is not there right we did not add that into the calendar so we are just comparing this one with these two bookings basically this one and this two right so which means that we can successfully have that booking so we will root, return true in this case and then 25 55 so 25 to 55 is number 6 this is the number 6 booking as you can see there is no intersection which causes triple booking here right the intersection if we make like this for example it causes go through two bookings or if, if we make an intersection like this it will go through these two, two bookings but it's not causing any triple booking so we can successfully make that booking so we will return true in this case right so this is the basically the problem uh, and we have to find the solution to this problem so let me just change the color um, so I'll just take the black only for now I think um, so um, how we are going to solve this problem of so we will uh, use a tree map which is a Java uh, map implementation right so difference like uh, in, uh, special, uh, specialization of tree map is that the tree map always keep the keys in sorted order right so we will uh, that is the important uh, thing that we wanted to use from tree map so we will uh, use tree map to solve this my calendar to problem and identify if it is causing any triple booking right so how we will do that let's say i create one variable called as let's say event count and uh, whenever we have we will go through each of these events and we will add this event into the tree map uh, in such a way that for start we when we are making entry for start right let's say 10 then we will put 1 as the value and when the event is ending for example 20 we will put minus 1 into the value right so that is the approach we will take so let's just go ahead and let's just uh, think that this is our map right let's say right and we will just go through this map uh, example and uh, we will go through one by one events so 10 20 so one 10 20 event will come right uh, so 10 here right and 20 will be let's say here 20 is there so for 10 starting we will add one and for ending we will always add while we will put minus one in the tree map after we do that we will go through these values right and we will uh, calculate the event count right so for example event count will be zero in the beginning when we go from uh, 10 the event count will become 0 plus 1 right so it becomes 1 uh, and uh, we will also keep track when we are looking when we will also keep track of how much maximum value we have seen during this right and then 1 minus 1 this uh, second one when we will look it is minus 1 right here so 1 minus 1 again it will become 0 so the maximum value we have seen is 1 right here so one is whenever maximum value is greater than equal to three right greater than equal to three that will be a triple will cause a triple booking right so here it's not causing a triple booking because the maximum value here we have seen is one so we will add that into our calendar and return true so we have seen 10 20 and we have returned true here right so next event we will put 50 60 now into our calendar so now we will just go ahead and put a 50 to 60 so for 50 we will put 1 and for 60 we will put minus 1 right because uh, ending is minus 1 now again we will go through all these 
uh, keys from tree map right and uh, we will count use this same logic to get the event count so let's just uh, um, you know let's just again start so event count will be zero in the beginning right so i'll just draw a line so you will not get confused so now uh, zero plus one is one right again minus one means one minus one is zero at the same time our max is now one right max is one and uh, zero plus again one is one and one minus one is again zero right so this is what we have seen so maximum value we have seen is one which is not greater than equal to three so we will add that into our calendar and we will return true basically right so now uh, again we will um, take next booking 1040 route right 1040 and we will make an entry so 10 is there already entry is there so we will have to increment this by one right so because it is a starting right so it will become two and 40 is the ending so 40 we will uh, put an ending here so 40 will be minus one right ending is minus one again we will use apply the same logic so let me just uh, you know erase these things because i can write something there then so let me just see if i can erase this quickly um, yeah so let me just erase this part okay and maximum part also will erase so um so let's go so again now we have made an entry uh, we have made entries into the tree map right so we have to go through each and every keys and uh, apply our same logic so 10 means 2 so we will add 2 here so our maximum will become 2 here right then 2 uh, minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 right and then 1 minus 1 is 0 and again plus 1 is 1 and again minus 1 is 0 right so maximum we have seen is 2 so it is still not greater than equal to 3 so we will make that entry as a true and we will add it into our calendar right so we have written true for that now we will see 515 right so 515 we will see so we have to make an entry into our tree map here so 5 is 1 right because it is a uh, starting right and 15 is ending so 15 is minus 1 here so 15 will be minus 1 because minus uh, it is the ending of the event now we will again apply our same logic here so i will just uh, start writing here right because i am just having this much space now so we will go through each and this uh, each of these keys right and then we will start with zero as the event count and zero will be the maximum at this time right zero will be the maximum so now one plus two right one plus two is total three so we have seen maximum as three as of now and then three minus one minus one minus one right so now it becomes zero and plus one became again zero plus one one and one minus one again zero right always it ends with zero because there is a balance between starting and ending of every event right so now in this case we have seen three as our maximum which is equal to our this three right so three is greater than or equal to three so which means that this will cause a triple booking so we will not add it into the calendar and we will return false so what it means is we will return false here and we will not add it into the calendar means whatever entries we have added just now we have to revert those entries basically right so what it means is uh, let me just take an eraser here right so what what we are uh, trying to say is we made an entry right five one so now we have to erase it because because five one this entry erase in the sense is we will subtract one from this entry right so it will become five zero right so we don't want to keep any entry with zero so we will erase it from our map right so we are just erasing this entry because it is now we are not adding this right because it's causing triple booking for 515 so 15 entry also we will erase it basically so 15 entry what we made into the map will cause minus one plus one right so it will cause zero so zero entry we don't want to keep into the map right so we will erase this entry and we return false here basically right so uh, let me just now uh, take the uh, take this color 
so now we have seen 515 now we will see 510 so now again we will add entry into the map for 510 so 510 is 5 is 1 and 10 is uh, now 10 is uh, 3 right so no sorry 10 means it will subtract 1 from this 2 so now the entry was 2 so now subtract 1 right because it is ending of the event so now the entry will become 1 right so now again we will use our same logic so let me just erase this part because I, I need some space to write down the things again uh, this is the eraser it's not erasing actually so if it's yeah okay so this part actually erases so let's just erase this part so I can reuse this space again okay so now uh, let's go with the remaining part of this one so 5 10 so we made a 5 and 10 entry already so we will again go through these entries so start with 0 right so 0 plus 1 plus 1 right so it became 2 total so maximum we have seen is 2 2 minus 1 minus 1 right so minus 1 minus 1 so again it becomes 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is again 0 right always it ends with 0 maximum we had seen is 2 Th 2 is not less than equal to 3 right 2 is not less than equal to 3 so we will return true in this case and we will add this entry into our calendar 25 55 we have to add so 25 we will add here right so 25 is 1 and 55 is minus 1 right because it is ending of the event so uh, again we will calculate right from 0 and maximum will be 0 in the beginning so let's just assume that this is again 0 right so now 1 plus 1 which is 2 right so 2 minus 1 so it went to 2 maximum right and then 2 minus 1 is again 1 and 1 plus 1 again it become 2 then again minus 1 so so 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 again became 2 right uh, and then again minus 1 so it became 1 and uh, again 1 plus 1 is it became 2 and again minus min, minus 1 minus 1 so it becomes 0 right so maximum we had seen is 2 which is less than equal which is not greater than uh, equal to 3 right so which means that we can successfully book this event and uh, we will return true so uh, this is the logic to solve this problem using tree map and as you can see whenever we make any entries like whenever we add any entries let's say 25 55 it is always sorted because tree map always keeps the keys in sorted order right and we will use our app, uh, logic to calculate the event count so that we will understand if it is causing a triple event right so uh, let's just look into the this logic understanding the logic is very important to solve this problem the code is itself is not very difficult to uh, like understand after you understand the logic right so uh, this is not like sorted right so so uh, let's go through this code so i just created a map or a tree map of integer comma integer and initialized it into the constructor after that whenever we have the book method we will put you know whenever for a start we will always put uh, plus one right plus 1 if it is existing with the existing value otherwise we will put like 0 plus 1 means 1 right and for end we will always subtract minus 1 basically right so uh, this part I explain you already in detail here right how the plus 1 minus 1 logic works plus 1 for starting minus 1 for, for ending of the event then we call this event count right this event count variable so event count variable we will uh, loop through all the entries from the map and we will calculate how much event count we will get right by using the values right so if it is greater than or equal to 3 then it is causing a triple booking then in that case whatever entry we have 
uh, made into the map right we first are making the entry into the map right to calculate the event count so if it is more than or equal to 3 then we have to remove those entries back right because so means whatever we added for start we added plus 1 for uh, end we add uh, subtracted one right so we have to revert those changes back which means that for start now we will do minus 1 and for end we will do plus 1 right so we have to as so we have to make that map as it was bef before right because we could not make the booking right in that case so that's what we are simulating and we wanted to remove those entries here right from the map itself if it is zero then we don't want to keep those entries zero entries into the map so we are doing that here and we will return false in the triple event case right so this is the if right so we will return false otherwise we will loop through the whole uh, map right and at the end if we cannot find any triple booking then we will return true so that is the whole implementation using the tree map for this problem and uh, let's take the example that they had given to us so this is the same example that we just discussed so it should give us the same uh, result now so as you can see we are getting false for this one right true 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 false false true right uh, oh this one is actually another test case that I was trying I will explain it, it to you in a minute but let's just make sure that uh, we have the correct values here right so this value is 5 10 right 5 10 so let's just put this uh, 5 10 test case so this is actually the correct uh, test case right 5 15 5 10 so now let's run this again I was testing on some other test case that I will show you in a minute so here as you can see the result here true 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 false true 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 false true true so we are getting correct answer so now let's just modify this test case so what i did is instead of 5 uh, this 5 10 i just made 6 12 right so for example if this is becomes a 6 12 right so instead of 5 10 i just made sure that it actually giving us another triple booking right so if it is 12 let's say right 12 and this is 6 right then it, it means that if i draw a line from this then it will go through these bookings right this this one booking it will go through this one right sorry this one it will go through this one it will go through because these are valid bookings and this one again the current booking right so total three will be there so we will get a false for this one right so let's just execute this one So now as you can see we are getting this two false right 515 false and 612 also false basically right because that is also cost triple booking so this is also correct so let us just go ahead and submit this solution so the solution got accepted by lead code it is 62 percent uh, faster than other submissions and 95 percent faster on memory usage which is pretty good so this is the way we can solve my calendar to problem with the help of tree map and with the help of this logic of event count the event count logic uh, we can uh, you know make sure that if it is uh, uh, we can count the events to understand if there is an intersection happening with three three events right to that is causing triple booking so uh, this logic you know i explain you in detail with this example so i uh, hope it's clear and you understood it uh, if you haven't already checked the playlist on my channel called as lead code and lint code solutions you please check it out because it has uh, over 200 solved examples and those are coding questions taken from previously asked interview questions by big tech companies like amazon A apple google facebook microsoft yahoo and many other big tech companies and uh, those are uh, hand-picked problems to cover different varieties which is important for uh, coding interview perspective right such as dynamic programming link list graphs binary search trees binary search related coding interview questions as well as uh, dfs bfs matrix related problems optimization problems priority queue related interview questions so all those uh, are explained with examples for simple uh, to make it simple and very understandable uh, also there is another playlist called as java interviews uh, that discusses uh, the frequently asked java interview questions and telephony questions 
so you can you know uh, go through that playlist if you are preparing for initial java round uh, coding uh, interview rounds or for telephonic interview rounds as well um, if you like this video if you find this explanation helpful and you know simple to understand the problem please hit like and subscribe it your subscription is really important to us because this is the way the video can reach to more people who are preparing for coding interviews as well as java interviews they can also look through these videos how to solve different variety of problems and understand how to approach the problems and which data structures we can use to solve different problems so please hit subscribe it to the channel you know your subscription will make sure that the video can reach to more people and they will also get help so please subscribe it and you know if you like it please share this video with your uh, friends and colleagues they can also watch and get help and thanks for watching the video